In this short tutorial, I will show you how to change post process effects in game. This is stackable so you can change one or more, and also remove them selectively. You can also remove all current post processes. The effects can be removed one at a time or multiple at once, in any order. The same applies for adding them as well. First open your player blueprint. Add a post process component. I will create an orange effect for showcasing the system. Now add another post process component. For this one I will create some effects like chromatic aberration and vignette. Make sure the post processes are separate components. You can attach them under a single scene component if you want to make it more compact and organized. Now select both post processes and set the blend weight to zero as they should be disabled by default. I will be using custom events to add, remove, or clear the post processes. First we'll be adding. Create a custom event called change post process. Add a new timeline. Set the length to 1 and add a flow track. Add two points from 0 to 1. Select both points and right click, then press on user to make it curved rather than linear. Add a for each loop. Make a new input in the event for the target post processes. The type will be post process component array which you can set by pressing the mini drop down before the cross. Connect this into the for each loop array. Then set the blend weight of the array element to the value of the timeline. I will now comment the event. Next. I will do the removing event. Duplicate the one we just made. Rename the event to remove post process. Rename the timeline as well. Instead of plugging the blend weight straight into the timeline, add a lerp node, and A will be 1, and B is 0. Alpha is the timeline value. This is since it should go from 1 to 0 rather than 0 to 1. I will now comment this event as well. The final event will be to clear all post processes. Duplicate the previous event and rename it to clear all post process. Rename the timeline. Remove the lerp and the input from the event as well since we don't need to manually tell which ones to remove. For the array, get components by class. This will get all components of type attached to the actor, which in this case is our player blueprint. The component class will be post process component. If you are not seeing blend weight from array element, then disconnect the array and reconnect it. Now get the blend weight and check if it is greater than zero. This is since we only need to clear the post process if it is enabled. If it is true, then set the blend weight to alert from 1 to 0 like before.
I will comment the event now. Now I will quickly show how this can be used. I will use the right and left mouse button to test it. Add the change post process event. Make an array for the post process. Now add the post process components here. You can press add pin if you want to add more than one. As you can see the orange post process smoothly blended in. Now add a remove post process and set the input to the same array. Now it also blends the post process out, although there is some error if you try to enable it again. This is since we need to change the events to go to play from start rather than play. Now it is working if we do it again. Press add pin and connect the other post process. Now both post processes are blending in and out. If I remove the orange one and connect just the effects one, then it is correctly blending just that one. Now add the clear all post process. Clearing them works too. To make it smoother, connect blend weight to A, rather than leaving it as 1, since if you clear before the blending in is finished it won't have reached the target value of 1. You can also stop the other timelines when 1 is started to make it a bit more smooth and bug free. I will add one more post process to test with another effect as well. It works all good. There is one more thing to fix. For the first two events, we want to lerp the values to their target locations instead so we can set the starting value to the current blend weight so there is no snapping. The system is working properly now. You can add different post processes to blend based on your game, for example blending in different shader effects such as thermal vision for binoculars or weapons, or different colors for certain areas or power-ups. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.